And welcome to the ribbon cutting and uh, first glance at our newly renovated auditorium. Nice. It's been a long, arduous journey, and I'm not talking about the pandemic. You know, that's been long and arduous and hopefully winding down now. But uh, it goes back to 2017, right, when we first started raising money for the renovations. And it was something that's, you know, been sorely needed. You know, the auditorium is a hub of activity for our residents, our employees. Uh, community partners that we have and over the years as Maple Knoll Village has grown we've outgrown the auditorium so this is something that we, we sorely needed to do and typically we would have a, a big party with lots of people here and uh, standing room only but of course because of the pandemic uh, we're not able to do that but for the balance of the week we're gonna have tours uh, for employees for residents uh, culminating on Friday with a lengthy 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, wine and words where we have residents that have signed up for every hour on the hour so we're uh, looking forward to that so what will uh, you all see what will they see when we open those doors uh, well first of all you should notice uh, coming into the building we've completely uh, redone the, uh, the area around the flagpole with new paving stones, new uh, new landscaping. We have the pergola out back here, uh, which on nice days I'm sure is gonna get a lot of use. New flooring, as you can see beneath your feet right now. And in terms of the auditorium, you're gonna see a lot more space. Uh, we took out that huge stage that was there. Uh, we will have a temporary stage, right? Uh, a mobile stage. That, that when, when needed, we can put up and, and take down as needed. Uh, but generally there's going to be a lot more space and I had to bring this out to make sure I didn't forget all the things that are included in there now. Um, we will no longer have to have a portable bar because we have a, a bar at the rear of the, uh, the auditorium now. Uh, we have uh, new acoustical materials, new lighting. Uh, we have 70 inch screens you'll see that are mounted on the columns in the back here so residents sitting at in the back during an event can see uh, real time what's going on. We have uh, upgraded uh, um, cameras. Uh, we've added a live stream camera so when there's events going on, residents in the cottages and apartments can, can watch it on TV. Expanded Wi-Fi. This is something I wasn't aware of until Andy told me. Uh, we have Bluetooth now capability. So residents, I, I didn't know this, I guess residents that have hearing aids can now hear events through uh, through their hearing aids, through the Bluetooth. That's something I wasn't aware of. Um, we, uh, new roof, it's not a sexy thing, but you'll notice that things will be dripping on you, you know. And then of course, an improved uh, and balanced uh, air conditioning and heating system. So, a complete upgrade. I think you'll really be impressed uh, when you go in there and see it. Uh, we still have some things that are we're waiting to be delivered, chairs and, and such but I think you'll get a sense for the, the completed product. And uh, I certainly want to thank all our donors. I want to thank Megan and her staff. You've done a tremendous job, and particularly Andy and Joe Volker, who, uh, who've done the job hurting the cats of the construction crews. And uh, that's a tough job, and they were doing that right up until we, we started the ceremony at 1 o'clock. So thank you guys. So um, I'd now like to introduce uh, the chairman of the Maple Knoll Communities Board of Directors, uh, Mr. John Bloomstrom. Thank you, Jim. Um, it's really a, an honor to be here today. This has been a long-awaited uh, asset for this community because it's so, it plays such an important role uh, in our residents. I've been coming up here for uh, 10 years now, and every time I pass by, there seems to always be something going on. It's a birthday, it's an anniversary, it's an educational program. Uh, it can be anything, dances, concerts, art gallery. So it has served such a you know, solid many purposes for our residents. It's really great to be here on a day to see it dedicated. I know it's been a long journey to get here. This has been a, a three year campaign, uh, but we're excited to be at this point now and to know that we've achieved so much. So I'm excited to have the doors open in a couple of minutes and, and we'll be able to walk in and really see it firsthand. I really want to take some time and recognize the many donors that we've had. We've had many people step up and really support this. Uh, we've raised uh, close to $800,000 uh, in that interval, which is really significant for what we know we've been through, especially the last 15 months 
uh, for us to, to get this kind of enthusiastic support is really, really critical. I also want to thank a couple of folks uh, uh, specifically uh, in terms of some of the uh, foundations that helped us with their generosity. We had the L L Nippert uh, Charitable Foundation, the PNC Foundation, the Robert and Christine Steinman Family Foundation, the Greater Cincinnati Foundation, Thomas J. Emery Memorial Foundation, and the Jacob Schmidlap, uh, Schmidlap Trust. So it's terrific for them to support us as well. So again, the donations came from several sources, from people, foundations, but I also want to mention how well our team of employees supported this campaign. Um, compared to other capital improvements uh, that have been made and been supported, uh, this one really resonated well with residents, I mean, uh, with, with our employees. And I think that's because they really felt how important it was being that central hub for so many activities. And the employees really uh, stepped up and, and really made a big difference in this campaign. So thanks to all of you as well.